All right, everybody, welcome back. This is going to be COD World War II Part 5. Um, just going to be probably a shorter video since there's only one level, just kind of wrapping up the campaign here. And, you know, with Part 4, I talked a little bit about this at the end, so I won't touch too long on it, but there were a lot of interesting things that happened kind of at the end of that part um, as a result of the ambush level. Now, I didn't talk so much about Battle of the Bulge, that ended up being a really good level, aside from the really out of place um, airplane section. I just think it really broke up the pacing, and I didn't have fun with that at all. But the rest of that level was good. Now, Ambush was the real um, surprise level, which if you compare these two is, is shocking to me why this is the more enjoyable of the two. But that ended up having a lot of interesting things by the end of it because of Zussman being captured and kind of some of the cutscenes and stuff we were watching with the train sequence. That was hard to watch. Daniel's going home to his family. Um, and then I think that ended up not actually happening. I think that was like him imagining uh, a hero's return, but then he's like abandoning Zussman as a consequence of that and, and kind of him accepting that right or or i should say not being able to accept that if he went home without trying to do something more so it's a really interesting idea and i i um i'm curious to see kind of how that picks up so we're just going to jump right into it um March this is the with the battle for the ryan the our mission is to take the bridge over magen we get across the last german resistance will crumble mm-hmm okay I want nothing more than to be with Hazel when our baby arrives. But I gotta convince Pearson to let me back in the fight. I'm doing it to find Zuss, cause he'd do the same for me. If I don't make it home, well, just watch over him, Paul. Huh. Yeah. Oh, oh. What are you doing here? What's it look like? Suicide. Hey, I wouldn't go in there. Pearson's been hitting the sauce. Thanks of course he is. Oh, Jesus. He just doesn't even... doesn't look good. You gotta be fucking kidding me. <laughs> I'm not giving up on Zussman. Tell it to the chaplain, because I don't want to ruin it for a second. Who can't follow orders? You weren't following orders when you refused to abandon those boys at Kazarain. Oh, he's just laying it on the table. That's no good. What did you just say to me? He can barely fucking walk. You heard me. Oh god. You better leave while you can still walk. Davis told me it wasn't your fault. You were only trying to do right by your platoon. Get out. Get out. I'm not going anywhere. I said get out. Ugh. Ugh. God damn it. Jeez. Pearson's got some uh My orders were to fall back. Oh he's gonna now he's gonna but I just couldn't leave him. I told my bear his soul. We we're gonna hold this pass until reinforcements got here. But they never came. They never came. So I guess you're right. I did get my men killed. No go. Not without my platoon. Oh, you think you got some guts, don't you? Try getting the job done day in and day out while your men are dying all around you. Turner would have never given up like Turner this. Turner is dead. Then make that mean something. No sacrifice too great. You don't know anything about sacrifice. How about this? Honorable discharge papers signed by Davis. My ticket home. I could have had everything. A hero's welcome. Mm -hmm. My girl in my arms. Hell, even a bronze star. But I got one last mission. You must be crazy. Maybe. But that's the thing. 
he's not gonna be able to go home and he, he's not gonna be able to live with that guilt of abandoning him on the other hand what are the I mean, honestly what are the odds that you find Zussman that's a hard reality that I don't know if that's gonna be part of the game but seriously realistically no not all of us yeah let's take that bridge and find our boy yes corporal Zussman's alive. He's across that bridge. We just gotta take it first. All right, there she is, the last bridge over the Rhine. We get this convoy across, we're in the heartland. We'll bust them open. Look, it's all or nothing. It's all been leading to this. Oh. Jeez. Oh, hang on, fellas. All right. on me, come on. Let's get it. We gotta secure the bridge entrance. Yes, Sergeant. Come on. Hey, don't make me regret giving you a second chance. You know I won't. Let's move. <laughs> Jesus Christ, can you imagine? Oh my god. Oh, here we go. Get the flank on him. Oh, I forgot about Howard. Uh, kind of being part of the squad. He's, uh... He's a good... I don't know. I feel like he needed more screen time. Like, Aiello and Styles, like, I can see their personalities and stuff like that, and they're fine, too. I've liked Howard to the extent that I've seen him, but again, it's like two levels, I think, we've seen him. I just would have liked to have seen more interactions between him and the squad, honestly. Um... I don't know. I, I just, I feel like they, I mean, honestly, they, I feel like they brought him in. They made this weird, like, little racial comment, and then they don't, I, I don't know, I feel like they don't do anything more with Howard. This just feels really, I don't know, disingenuous. Because I actually have liked him so far as a character. I just, again, I wish I would have seen more, you know, uh, the interactions between him and the other squad members. You know, I don't know. Maybe it's not a big deal, but in a game that's so far done really well, honestly, with the characters and their kind of their relationships with one another, better than I was expecting, actually. To do that and then to have another character as part of the squad and then kind of like not really do anything with him just feels out of place. I don't know. you all right let's get it brother Daniels, I got your back clear the top floor we're all clear nice Again, I just, I like it as a weapon so much. It's, it's, 
It's still out of place. Like, I'm not gonna just... Come on now. Crowds are gonna blow the bridge. We gotta stop them. Yep. Tiles, what do you got? They're rolling out everything. Just buy some time. We'll handle the charges. All right, I'll lead the way while Daniels and Styles cover the engineers. Ready? All right. Come on, let's go. You two, defuse the charges below the main structure. Crowds are falling back. Stay low and keep sharp. <laughs> Here, hop on. We'll ride into combat. All right, watch your footing. Up ahead, on your shot, Ned. What are these guys doing? Like, did they not see the fucking convoy coming up and they're like, well... Oh, they're busy with the charges. Okay, all right, there's a little bit more. All right. Dude, I want the fucking mortar thing. Come on. Oh wait, which one are you? Oh fuck you, Styles. Could use them now. Coming at you. Where's the other one? Hey, dumbass, give me that mortar thing. Yo, Daniels, why don't you I'm... What do you think I'm trying to fucking do, brother? Fine, I'll take care of it myself. Thank you, for fuck's sake. Jesus Christ. Worst part about this is I don't have Zussman anymore, so I can't... No one can, can give me the med packs. Okay, I have to take those whatever Panzer Shreks out or whatever it is. Let's see here. There we go. Alright, I deserve that one. That's fine, no biggie. I'm so afraid of this prick with the rockets still, though, like... I assume that's one of them right there. Okay. Or I think there's one more up there. Oh, there sure fucking is. Okay, well, it's a one-hit kill, apparently, so I can't move up until he's dead. Like, just dumb, but... Alright, thank that better be all.
All right, move up. Send him this way. Shit. You know, I, I don't know if I said this or not, but uh, Howard doesn't have an ability, which is interesting. I mean, it's not like the end of the world, I just... I, I wonder if there was a unique opportunity to do something... I don't know, I mean, if you asked me what, what it could be, honestly, I couldn't give you an answer. Like, because you kind of covered your basics with them so far, like, health, ammo, targeting, grenades. Oh, sure. I kind of wanted that sniper, honestly. I have a feeling I might need that. Would have been really helpful in that last section with the towers. But... Now I have to be extra observant for health kits, unfortunately. Of course, I say that and I fucking waste all of them here now. Ah, uh, fine. Grenade out! That's everyone! There's one. Alright, better. Oh, it's MG. Okay. I was like... What? Grab some ammo. Alright. Let's get it. Those planes are gonna take out the bridge. We need to capture those AA guns. Daniels, Howard! And me! Move now! Enemy spotted! Smoke the suppressor fire now! Tell them out! Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck me. Alrighty. Dude, the fuck these rockets. Now. It's boring. Get to those trenches! Move! Grenade! Where the fuck is that? Is this it? Sure is. Yeah, but how long until they start firing at me? He's going down! On the left! Nice. Hey, sighting you, Daniels! Yeah! Good one! Oh, uh, yep. 12 o'clock! Yeah! Good one! Turn left! Jesus. Shit. Those my boys? All five boys are 
<laughs> nice. Good shit, fellas. Send him this way. Here, Daniels. Toss me that target info. Oh, that's not good. Oh, what the hell is that? I'm afraid of another guy with a rocket here. Because you can't find them until they're, you know, right on you. <laughs> if I sit behind this thing, is it going to just blow up and kill me or what? Interesting tactic to run at me like that. Enemy spotted. They're coming out. Yeah? Hey, remember when those guys Stand down. Remember when those guys on my side we surrender and then they got cooked? Yeah. I tried to aim in just now. Doesn't let me. I tried. Fuckers. Good shit, Howard. Corporal Howard. I believe I owe you an apology. You owe me a hell of a lot more than that. Come on through. We just made history, fellas. Worst across the world. What you looking at, Fritz? There are reports of POW camps in the area. Davis has ordered us to wait for authorization before conducting a sweep. But I guess you know what to do with Davis's orders. Copy that, Sergeant. All right. Hmm. Proud our platoon held the first bridgehead on the Rhine. Now our convoy's rolling into the heart of Germany. Yeah, because this was uh, say March. Not to me. Another month, Not basically. Two there. months, I think it was. Yeah. May 5th, I believe. Somewhere around then. After leaving the bridge on our mission east, we searched camps along the way. I thought I knew what cruelty was. I didn't know anything. <sighs> but one thing's for certain. What I saw will stay with me forever. Survivors said that the other POWs including Zussman, had been taken to a smaller camp three hours east. All I could do was hope he somehow made it. <sighs> Last one. This looks more like a labor camp. I get the feeling it's deserted. I 
I don't know. <sighs> it's still burning. They must have just left. There's a barracks over there. What is this? Books? You and Styles check it out. I Files. Yeah, probably. More more likely than not. The records and all that. Yeah, no shit. These were our guys. Take out your camera. The world's got it. They had them living worse than animals, from the looks of it. They were beaten, starved, and worked to the bone. Nazis had murdered our boys in cold blood, and no fire in hell could burn away the stain. I'm guessing they made an example out of them. <sighs> They'd slaughtered the weakest, anyone that was slowing them down. Daniels, over here. Daniels, you gotta see this. The tracks lead to the fields. That's where they must have marched them. And that's where we're going. I wouldn't get your hopes up, Corporal. I made well, did we check the bodies right there, for fuck's sake? We'll find them alive. Sergeant, I'll take point. Dustman! Red! Red, take the shot! Everything's coming full circle. All I've done, all I wish I'd done. It's like my whole life is leading to this moment. We need to head home, baby brother. died right there in the snow all because i couldn't couldn't damn it i'm coming zussman you're not gonna die brother not now not today so he so that was real that part was real it just that's where he he failed he didn't uh couldn't make the shot How's that for a fucking shot? Here, here's a couple more. Is it over? I must be dreaming. What they do? Plot. You were left behind. I'm only die alone out right here. Drink some. Easy now. Okay, come on, let's get out of here. Come to the jeep. Come on. You always looked out for me, Paul. And I reckon you did today. Because there's only one thing that keeps you going on that long march. And that's having your brothers beside you. When history called, 
You answer. I can barely walk. Now Jesus. Wife, you came to defend peace and freedom. I thank you, and the world thanks you. Wherever your path takes you, know this. You will always be amongst a brotherhood of heroes. Well, this is it, fellas. Trust me, one as you have it. And yeah, you'll need it more than me. You got a kiddo now. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Yeah, you'll be fine. Gentlemen. Queens! <laughs> the prodigal son returns! <laughs> oh, you gonna be okay? Gotta say bye to Zussman. Going home, Sergeant? I am home. What about you? You gonna re up? I've been away from Texas for a long time. You take care of farm boy. I will. When my son asks what I did, I'll tell him I fought with the first. And that crazy bastard Pearson. <laughs> crazy ain't the half of it. <laughs> if you're ever in Chicago, I'll get there. Oh, yeah, maybe I'll surprise you and Longview first. You're welcome anytime. You know, when they captured us, it wasn't just our freedom that they took. Even though we were together, and we were alone, looking for any way to survive. But you, you could have gone home a hero. Why'd you come back? I saw that life. Just couldn't live it. To the end. To the end. And this is him actually going home now. <laughs> different last time. This time we made it home. Together. I can still hear the wolves, Paul. Sometimes I still see him coming. But you showed me how to fight him. So this belongs to you. Because the sacrifice you made taught me that a hero will risk it all to save his brother. And you'll always be both to me. And that's it. I'm going to assume there's nothing at the end of the credits. Um, well, whatever. Uh, oh, there we go. I was like, I'm waiting for the skip button. Um, you know, my first thought watching those cutscenes um, in the camps, you know, was how much are they going to show? And they didn't really show, there's no one there, right? I mean, there were a couple people there, the, you know, the guys on the posts and stuff like that. It's not, not the extent to the extremes that you can imagine. Um, it was a good touch to include it. Part of me wishes that they would have shown more. Um, because that's kind of, it's, it's, it's never a wrong thing to kind of remind people, right? The, the point of all of it. Right. Um, it handled it well. I don't have any complaints about it, right? Um, I don't know. 
Good level. Um, the Rhine just, it was a little bit, it felt like classic Call of Duty in a way. I don't know. Like, take the bridge, a little quasi vehicle section at the end, and then that's kind of it. Cutscenes were really the, the strong point there for me. Um, I think that's, that those were the more engaging than the actual level itself, which is, yeah, I mean, you know, it is what it is. Uh, for a final level, it was nothing spectacular, but it was uh, satisfactory. Um, it's kind of the aftermath of that that was really the the powerful part for me with uh, all that and actually finding Zussman and everything. So, World War II, you know, I, I'm going to be honest. I If I had to compare this to uh, Sledgehammer's other game, I'd probably say that World War II is better. And I'm actually surprised by that. For me, it boils down to the gameplay. Because both of their stories, again, in my opinion, were pretty good. Were they the best? No. I guess I, I'd have to say no. Um, again, I think World at War overall was more enjoyable. Um, but that's not to say that World War II didn't surprise me in terms of what it brought to the table, especially with the characters and stuff like that. I actually did a pretty good job. I do think I still probably would have to give it to Infinite Warfare, truth be told. It's it's closer than I thought, and I have to give World War II credit for that, but I still think Infinite Warfare would take the cake for that. Um, but if I was comparing it to Advanced Warfare, I think I would say it's better. And for me, it boils down to the gameplay because I expected one thing from Advanced Warfare and didn't get what I wanted, really. There were a couple of moments here and there, but that game didn't offer me what I thought. It did give me a good story. Again, in my opinion, I thought it was pretty good. Better than I thought it was going to be. But for the gameplay, it was just it just felt like a letdown. It felt like a boots-on-the-ground experience when Advanced Warfare should have been flying all over the place, right? Much like the multiplayer, which is what I'm familiar with. World War II, being an actual boots-on-the-ground experience and the things that it incorporated, gameplay-wise, ended up being better. Um, it felt, you know, refreshing enough with the things that it intro introduced. You know, the health system thing was a little bit weird. I was a little bit put off by it at some moments, to be honest. It's not really what I was expecting. Um, but I guess I never really had enough of a problem managing the health packs for it to be, like, frustrating. So I gotta give it credit for that. It, it was, it was decently paced in terms of, um, how much health it actually gave you to compensate for, for not being able to recover it on your own. Um, and then the same thing with ammo. I didn't really feel like I had any problems with ammo for the most part. Um... But yeah, I think World War II, honestly, I think the gameplay part of it was pretty good. It was better than Advanced Warfare. And I'm surprised by that. Um, I can't say that I was coming, I was I was thinking of coming into World War II here with um, anything amazing. And truth be told, if I had to rank it, it'd probably be somewhere in the middle, upper middle. I don't know. It's not, um, again, it's so hard to compare to World at War because I had a fucking blast with that game. It was so much fun. Um, so it's hard to, t to, to temper my expectations compared to that, right? To compare to that, what I consider, it's like a masterpiece. It's so much fun, really. Um, but World War II did offer a fun time. I'm glad that I played it. It's, you know, I wasn't going to skip it. I have it in me to play all of these campaigns, regardless of what I think of them or regardless of what I hear about them. Um, and again, there's that expectation between what people say and, and how much that reflects the multiplayer or the campaign or the game overall. Um, that was a big thing going into the advanced movement games. Um, but I ended up having a, a different experience than kind of what I heard about them, which again makes me think that those critiques were about the multiplayer and not the campaigns. But to come into World War II, having played a ton of the multiplayer, but not the campaign really, it, it was it was um, kind of interesting. Uh, which is, it's not really the same of what I've done with previous CODs. I haven't, you know, where I haven't played their multiplayers that much. Um, or if I have, it was 
you know, the same thing was years ago when the game kind of first came out. Um, but World War II's campaign did feel fresh, and it felt different enough from the multiplayer that I felt like I got something out of it despite being more familiar with the game in general. So I got to give it props for that, honestly. Um, now, with all that being said, I have a difficult decision ahead of me of whether I want to play Black Ops 4's campaign or not. And it's the same problem with that game. Played a lot of Black Ops 4, didn't really play the campaign. So I don't really know what to expect moving moving forward with that, um, if I even want to do that or not. But World War II um, gets, a, gets, a, gets a solid thumbs up for me. I had a lot of fun with it. I had more fun, I think, than I was expecting. So um, that's all I got. This is the end of this. Um, so... Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you had fun with World War II. I know it's not everybody's, you know, favorite game either. I think a lot of people didn't really care to play another game where it was World War II. Um, that's kind of what I heard. That was the sentiment. So, um, but I appreciate you if, you if you stuck with it. I had a good time with that. I hope it was enjoyable to watch. So, let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching.